So we're getting ready to feed the banana plant and I'm going to feed it this right here. Okay. And I'm going to put three tablespoons of that into this gallon of water. I've already shaken it up. So I'm going to kind of eyeball it. That's about right. You don't need a lot of this. All right. I'm going to put a lid on it. I'm going to shake it up. And we're going to give the banana plant a drink. All right. So here's the banana plant. It looks so much better than it did when I first got it. I thought it was dead and I didn't know what to do. And I was freaking out. But I followed some advice from some people on the internet. And this is what I have now. I'll put a before picture in here also. And I need help. This is a dwarf banana plant. Look at that. So I did put her in a bigger pot. And now I have it sitting in a plastic tub so I can water it. And I am going to give it the entire gallon of water. It's going to take it like a day or so to suck it all up. But the water won't go to waste. Here we go. gallon of water. What it doesn't suck up in two days, I will give it to Mr. Coffee. Yes, this is a coffee plant and it will grow coffee brain beans. It's going to take it a couple of years, but it'll get there. But this right here, this is what I'm excited about. So I make sure that the water gets above the openings, the drainage holes on here so they can suck it up. And when it doesn't suck up in two days, it'll go somewhere else, plant food and all. And the one thing I noticed about this is that when it is really super hydrated, the tips of the leaves here, where are they? The tips of the leaves here will actually have little water droplets on it. So I know that if the water droplets are small, it's thirsty. That's what I noticed. I don't know if anybody else's plant does that, but this one does. Look at that. Is there a water droplet on there? No. It needs a little water. So here we go. And we'll come back and check on her tomorrow. <laughs> 